Hello friends, welcome to the session of mainframe tricky interview questions for JCL. So moving to the first slide, question one, what are the mandatory parameters in a job card in JCL? The answer is identifier that is double slash followed by job name then operation that is the job word followed by positional parameter accounting information provided within a parenthesis so theoretically the job card as you are seeing here will work at first the identifiers then the job name which can be of eight characters long then the operation name that is job then within parenthesis the accounting info is mentioned i think you are already aware of the fact that accounting information is a mandatory positional parameter the other one is programmer's name but you can skip it and keyword parameters in the job card are all optional okay moving to the next slide this question number two it says what are the common keyword parameters coded in job and exec statements the answer is time cond that is condition parameter region and address space that is addr spc these four keyword parameters can be coded both in jo job and exec statements okay moving to the next slide that is question number three it says how time parameter is calculated for the code snippet which is given in this slide so you can see in this uh, jcl few time parameters are coded one is coded on job level the other three are at the step levels the thing is if you code time parameter for a particular step it will be applicable for that step only but the thing is the time consumed for all the steps should not exceed the time mentioned in the job statement so if you look at the answer it says step 1 can use the processor for 25 seconds if step 1 actually uses the processor like for only 15 seconds the time limit for step 2 is the smaller of the following values the job time remaining th that is 35 seconds or the time limit specified on the exact statement for step 2 that is 40 seconds in this case the job time remaining is the smaller value so step 2 can use the processor for 35 seconds if step 2 then actually uses the processor for say only 30 seconds step 3 can use the processor for 5 seconds because that is the time remaining from the previous step and time equal to 0 is coded on step 3 now if you calculate the entire time as per this theory 
consumed by all the steps will be equal or less than 50 50 seconds so at any point of time if it goes beyond 50 uh, 50 seconds which is coded on the job statement then this job will abend okay so moving to the next slide that is question number 4 it says if cond that is the condition parameter is coded in both job and an exec statement inside a jcl and on that particular step the job condition is satisfied but step condition is not will the job run the answer is no the job will terminate so what happens here is if you code condition parameter both on job or on steps then for a particular step that condition which is coded against that step will be applicable so in that sense you can say step condition will override the job condition but at the same time for each step the condition given on the job statement will be evaluated and if it is true then even if a condition is there on step it will not be considered and the job will terminate so that is the case mentioned here